Hello and welcome to my new video. In my last video, I explained the update sets, which includes uh, what is an update set, items captured by default, items not captured by default, planning process, and move update sets among different instances. In this video, I will explain the reporting in ServiceNow, which includes introduction, types, report designer data set in reports and sharing so let's start with the introduction of reports service now reports are visualization of your data uh, that you can share with users on uh, dashboard and service portals export to PDF and email reports allow user to analyze historical data and identify trends over time by visualizing data trends Using charts, graphs, or trend lines, user can observe patterns, fluctuations, and correlations within the, their data sets. ServiceNow reports enable users to monitor specific fields values uh, within the records. User can create reports uh, that filter data based on the field value and track changes on uh, or trends in those value over time. For example, user can create reports to monitor changes in incident priority assignment group or resolution status reports help user identify outlying and uh, that anomalous data points that deviate from the norm by applying filters sorting or using statistical functions user can pinpoint uh, unusual data patterns are outliers that may require further investigation or action. Then reports facilitate tracking and monitoring of work items such as uh, incidents, service request, tasks and change request. User can create reports to track the status, progress and resolution times of work items uh, allowing for efficient management and prioritization of tasks. Uh, reports provide visibility into the uh, progress of task projects or processes within the organization user can create reports to track kpis milestones or project statuses uh, allowing stakeholder to monitor progress identify bottlenecks and make informed decisions overall reports and service now uh, play a crucial role in data analysis decision making and performance monitoring across various functional areas by enabling users to uh, identify trends, monitor field values, and detect outliers, track work, and view progress. Reports empower organization to optimize operations, uh, drive efficiency, and achieve business objectives efficiently. Then types of reports. There are different types of uh, reports in service now. Uh, like bars, pies and donuts, time series, multi-dimensional reports, scores and others. So bars, bar reports. Bar reports enable you to compare scores across data dimensions. Then pies and donuts reports visualize the relationship between the parts and the whole of the data set using shape such as phi. Then time series report visualize data over time in addition to data from uh, within your instance and imported data source you can also use metric based data in time uh, series report then multi-dimensional reports visualize data across dimensions uh, in a single table or graph then scores uh, visualize single data points either across ranges or as a single value then the statical reports visualize data with statical values such as medians and means then there are other reports which include calendars maps and list you can also use natural language query inside uh, report designer to generate a report uh, simply write a question into the uh, nat uh, natural language query field and uh, the report designer generates a report of an appropriate type
then come to the report designer so report designer uh, consists of you can say four parts like data type configure and style so let's uh, explore these on report designer so let me open my personal developer instance so for reporting type report in navigator and under reports this is the module to for create new report then this is the report designer which consists of you can say four parts like data type configure and style so let's start with the data the data tab is used to configure the report name where the uh, data come from in this field report name uh, we can specify the title of report then the source type uh, in source type we can choose uh, that if, uh, on which table we want to create a report or we want to use any data source then uh, the, if we select the table then uh, all records from the tables are included and if we select any data source uh, then we have to select any data source which uh, we have created so we can select the table then for example we select the tab incident table so this is the data tab which contain report name, source type and table then type in type we can choose the uh, report type uh, that which type of report we needed like we uh, need the bar reports uh, or wire donuts or time series or it depends on our requirement or uh, our type of data so in this case we select the bar so in the type tab we can select the type of report then the next is configure uh, so the configure tab options are dependent on the report type uh, in the, this part we can select the group by and uh, you can say that uh, stack by aggregation and the different options like uh, uh, the group by displays that the, the report is showing data on the basis of this group by like in group by field the active is selected so it is showing that 48 records are active which means true and 28 records are not active so if we change the group by like if we select uh, you can see that uh, assignment group so then click on the run then now uh, it's showing the records uh, on the basis of assignment group like uh, these 35 records are not assigned to any assignment groups then these 12 inc incidents are assigned to service desk and nine incidents are assigned to uh, you can say hardware group and then nine are assigned to software group so in this way group by works then uh, the stack if we select the stack like uh, active then if we click on the run then the stack shows in this way like these are total uh, you can say uh, that uh, 35 records in which uh, it shows that 25 are active and 7 are not active so trend uh, stack by shows that uh, uh, you can say that stack the records uh, like uh, if we see that uh, uh, the incident assigned to the service tasks are uh, total 12 in which 5 are active and five uh, sorry seven are not active 
so in this way the stack by works and if we talk about the style then the uh, there are different option on the style tab dependent on the uh, selected report type the style tab contains additional tabs uh, which may include uh, you can say that general uh, title uh, legend and axis so in this uh, tab we can configure the you can say that style of the uh, report like uh, its chart color uh, its palette and there are different op options available in this so this is the reports of uh, incident uh, records that uh, how many incidents are assigned to which assignment group and uh, in uh, stack by i selected that how many uh, you can say incidents are active and how many incidents are not active so this report shows that uh, the, the number of incidents are assigned to these groups and uh, the there are th also showing that uh, these are the active incidents are these are not active incident then the next is data sets in reports data sets in reports within service now provide users uh, with a robust mechanism to create custom data source by combining and manipulating data from multiple tables applying filters and condition to refine data selection and performing calculation to uh, derive insights by leveraging data sets, a user can merge related data, apply filter criteria based on specific requirement and perform calculation to generate meaningful metrics and analytics. This flexibility enables users to tailor uh, reports to their unique needs, facilitating comprehensive data analysis and uh, visualization to support informed decision making and drive organizational success. You can create reports uh, that use data sets from up to five tables in a single report. Uh, the f following report types uh, support multiple data sets like bar, horizontal bar, column, line, st step line, area and spline. Multiple group, group wise are not supported on multiple data set. While using multiple data set, the report legend is always displayed. So, uh, this is about the data set. Now, uh, the next is sharing. So, these are the options uh, which are available on the report. So, let's explore this option on the personal developer instance. So, this is the report which I just cre created. It is a simple report. So, first we save it. The report is save now this is the sharing button which contains share schedule add to dashboard and export to pdf if you click on the share then this show the sharing setting uh, setting of uh, uh, this report like this report is visible to me or it is visible to everyone you can also select any role and then group or user but uh, you can also select any group or user, uh, any specific user uh, which, have, uh, which can access this report. And the next is schedule. Uh, we can also uh, schedule the report uh, by clicking on uh, this schedule button. Then the next is add to dashboard. Uh, if we have any dashboard and we want to uh, display this report on dashboard, then we uh, simply uh, select this option add to dashboard and then uh, select the dashboard like this way this is the list of dashboards uh, from here we can select the dashboard on which we want to display this report and then the tab of the dashboard so this is used uh, to add the report on the dashboard then export to PDF so from this option uh, we can export our report uh, in the form of PDF. So these all are the option in the sharing tab.
so that's all for uh, this session uh, before I wrap up let's quickly review uh, what I have covered in this session Uh, so uh, we discuss about uh, introduction of reporting then types of uh, reporting and then report designer data sets in report and sharing so uh, this is all about the uh, reports so in my up upcoming video I will uh, cover the dashboard that's all for now. Thank you.